know, nobody knows whether he will still be alive by this time tomorrow. So why are you worrying about tomorrow when you are not even sure tomorrow will come? If tomorrow comes, according to Lamentation chapter 3, from verse 22 to 23, Lamentation chapter 3, from verse 22 to 23, then it is because God has decided to show mercy to you. It's of the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed. They are new every morning. So any morning that you wake up, any time you wake up and see a tomorrow, it's because God has decided to be merciful unto you. If he has decided to be merciful unto you, then you can be sure it means you will take care of your problems. And if we have problems now, today, and we are worried about it, we should also remember Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5 that tells us that uh, weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. And if joy is coming tomorrow morning, then why should life spread tonight sorrowing? The wasting my energy rather than sorrow tonight. I just wait for the joy that is coming in the morning. I've told you about our situation when I first became general overseer. Our only the headquarters and 39 parishes, but each one was uh, full of uh, problems. So anytime I traveled, by the time I returned, my wife would have for me a catalog of uh, the problems that had happened while I was away. Uh, some people are quarreling in Lori. One landlord is giving problems in Kano, etc., etc. When she finishes, I will say, where's my food? And she will say, they, they didn't you hear all I said? <laughs> now, but at least food. And when we finish it, I will say, shall we pray so we can go and sleep? You know, commenting on all these problems, I said, why should I? Weeping endures for night. By tomorrow, joy will come. Yeah. And almost invariably, by the following day, the problems are gone. When the Lord was teaching his disciples to pray in Matthew chapter 6, from verse 9 to 11, Matthew 6, 9 to 11, he made it clear in that prayer that we should live from day to day. Give us this day our daily bread, day by day, day by day. And in any case, according to Galatians chapter 6, from verse 7 to 8, Galatians 6, 7 to 8, Today, which is in your care, you can use to control tomorrow. Meaning what? It's what you sow today that you are going to reap tomorrow. Tomorrow should not be a time of worry. Tomorrow should be a time of harvest. You have today, sow today, tomorrow, You'll be looking forward to harvesting. So actually, tomorrow is in your hand. It's up to you. What happens to you tomorrow depends on what you do with today. I've told you the story of the man who came to us and said, uh, we hear that you are a prophet of God. I said, I'm not a prophet, I'm a pastor. 
But I hear that whatever you say will come to pass, I say God has been faithful. He said, can you tell me about my future? I said, that is simple. All you need to do is answer a simple question. Are you a child of God? Are you born again? He says, no, I tell you, your future will be terrible. How do you know? You, have, you don't know my name. You have not even prayed. I said, there's no need. It is written. Woe to the wicked. He shall be healed with him. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. What you do today is going to determine what will happen to you tomorrow. He said, okay, suppose I say I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Ah, and then I will tell you tomorrow will be all right. Because it is written, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, Say ye to the righteous, he shall be well with him. So your tomorrow is in your hand. You need to worry if you are doing evil today. Because the harvest will be waiting tomorrow. And you don't have to worry if you are doing the will of God today. Because what you are doing today is what you will reap tomorrow. So the choice is yours. And if you pray any prayer at all, it should be, Lord, let me use today correctly so that I will reap a good harvest tomorrow. And may the Almighty God grant your request in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.